Abbott has asked our students to decide a direction to take their biomarker research, their diagnostic and therapeutic biomarker research. Uh, we're trying to help them research biomarker technology and like seeing if they should shift it because they want an outside group with like you know a new perspective to help them. Which means that what they're actually doing is trying to to push Abbott into the future of where they think biomarkers might go. So our students had to understand what biomarkers were and then figure out what the next big biomarker might be. So we're supposed to find biomarkers for different diseases, so we each have like a different disease like what that we're working on. Everyone's going in a different direction with it, like my group's going with more like the legal aspects. Some groups are going with more like how it's going to help people. Some people are just going with like, uh, is it going to work? Our group is working on therapeutic and diagnostic uh, measures of that, and the way that we're going to branch off is, is just finding more, not creative, but just different treatments and ways to deal with those issues. We're, we're doing labs, we're experimenting with molecules and tinkering with molecules. The difference is that when we get done, we're taking that information that we've gotten that, and all of that work that we've done and we're saying, okay, now how does this link up to what we're trying to show Abbott? We had decided to use iPad technology to help document lab results, send that that work out and have that shared between them. Basically just an extension of the lab and we can we have it right there in the classroom so we can use it and just get more work done. We also are piloting the use of our district email and Google Docs to help them communicate with their group members and with us. They're working on a common document, they're um, adding their research pieces and editing each other's work. Well, we use like the, the Google Docs is really like amazing because like we can like open up a document and we at the end of the day we always share our, all, like, all our information and we like send it to the teacher so she knows like what's going on like what we're doing. And so like we have this document and like each person in our group can write something like all at the same time. So if like your friend makes an error you can like recorrect like, like what they spell wrong or thing. And then like it auto saves and it's just like it's wonderful. <laughs> I'd say we're pretty far along. We've got, um, we've got a lot of background knowledge and we're all like headed in the same direction. Well, not in the same direction, but we're all headed in a good direction. The end is in sight. And then after spring break, they're going to come back and we're going to present all of our research to them. It's like a big responsibility, but it feels, it feels good though because they're putting something into our hands to take care of for them. One of us, and I can't remember who it was, it wasn't me, said, you know, once this project is over and this ends in April, she's like, I don't know how we're going to go back fourth term and say, okay, we're going to go back to what we were doing. So the group of us all said, you know, you are so right. We've really kind of helped them to understand learning differently. So we can't do that. We're going to have to figure out what problem we're going to be working on fourth term because this is the way that they're learning. We cannot go back.